Hello. I know you guys haven't seen me yet. haven't seen me in a very long time i feel like i have to do a full like sit down video just talking about where i've been what's been going on with me but this is gonna be one of my first vlogs on my channel i moved to Alexandria, virginia to maryland and i'm at my new home but i got some pr packages that went to my alexandria address so i have to drive there which is like an hour and 15 minutes i love shopping in alexandria for like groceries it's just what i'm accustomed to i've lived there for what I lived there for like six years so you know they got all my favorite places i'm thinking i'm gonna make lasagna tomorrow which i might include all of that in this vlog so you could get like a two-day mashup if this is your first time watching the beat welcome and if this is not your first time you already know what it is Okay. So I decided to take my husband's car. So now I have to go and put gas in it. Why this man don't have no gas in his car? I should have definitely left here a bit earlier. I was supposed to leave here at 11. Right now it's 3.14. So it's taking me an hour and a half to get there. <sighs> Which then I thought to myself, damn, maybe I should just go tomorrow. But I don't want to do this tomorrow. So yeah, we're on our way. so i just got to alexandria i picked up three packages i get quite a lot of pr you sign up for the pr and then you can't remember how you signed up and you want to get in contact to them when you move but it's really hard to do that sometimes the brand goes through a pr agency and like if you try to reach out to the brand directly they act like they don't know what you're talking about i got two packages from kiss and one package from skin fix so i'm gonna have to try to reach out to them to let them know that i changed my address because because I'm not gonna be driving down here to get packages I'm just not gonna be doing it it took me like two hours to get here but now I'm gonna go to restaurant depot so restaurant depot is like a wholesale I don't want to say grocery store but like restaurants will go there to shop and my sister has a car so she got one for us and it was so great because it was like literally five minutes away from where from here where we used to live the other one is in Baltimore which is also like an hour and some away from us so whenever I come to Alexandria I always go there to shop they have stuff for like bulk pricing they have a lot of stuff that we cook in Trinidad and Tobago as well like they have kingfish they have a lot of like international type foods like saltfish and stuff so that's where we're gonna go now yeah it is 5 21 i did not know that this place closes so early on a saturday 4 p.m <sighs> okay so we're not gonna go to restaurant depot we're just gonna go to lamont way to get the future collection slash Janae collection let me see if the target near me has it if not i'm gonna go to one more i already made my online purchase but i want to see what i can find in the store so they don't have it at this target i'm gonna go to one more see if they have it if not it's okay i think i bought everything that i wanted online but i kind of just wanted to go into the store try it on make sure i got the right size you all know how it is
didn't have to take the card all the way back because somebody gave me their quarter. <laughs> for lunch i'm gonna make this fried chicken recipe i found on tiktok and you have to like marinate the chicken for two hours so i'm gonna go home and do that now if you're from Trinidad and tobago you know what pastel is it's like a corn pie and it has minced meat in it like minced beef you could put different meats you could do chicken fish but we usually do beef and the way that my mom makes the filling for the pastel is so delicious so i'm gonna make lasagna but i'm gonna use the filling like how she makes it for pastel y'all you have to try it it's very 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 good do lasagna callaloo the fried chicken and like a spinach salad i'm so excited about this meal i haven't cooked in a long time so i always lock my car when i come to the gas station and i have the keys in my hand like i'm not playing no fucking games i'm really not playing no games but i'm kind of excited that i'm close to a wawa now because i really like wawa i i'm tempted to go in and like buy a snack but I'm about to prep for lunch and I don't want to spoil my appetite. I actually haven't had breakfast. Wawa was the cheapest gas around here. So yeah, I need to hurry up and get my Sam's Club membership so that I could get cheap gas. I have one of those cars that when you like park, it opens the doors automatically. My next car, I'm going to make sure that that is not the case because no. Okay. And whenever I get back into my car, I always lock my door. Y'all, I've heard some horror stories. Like y'all not going to catch me slipping. But this real sweet. This real sweet, I like it. The chicken, come on, drive it. This is the best homemade Chinese chicken I have ever tasted in my life. You may have to have another child. Like this. You have something on your lip. No, that I want them to see because, like you see, I ate one, but I I was trying to eat it and do the video, but I just so happened, baby. This chicken remind me of, and this, this is just because I'm from Brooklyn, this chicken remind me of the Chinese food in King's Plaza, mixed with a little bit of my lovely place called Snyder Wings. Yes, oh my. it's given Snyder Wings. It's like, I put some soy sauce in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. This chicken is, this chicken is just so good. So, so good. There's, there's no other way to describe it. 
this is really true homemade Chinese fruit chicken. Well done. Thank you. Mm.